welcome to Chloe Avalon. Hey, I just wanted to pop on here and tell you all that I am in Alaska now, but this video that I'm posting is still from uh, Montana. And because I just didn't get it edited before we left, but I still wanted to put it out there for you all because it was kind of a fun video that I did and getting my hair done and stuff. So I just wanted to pop on and just say, hey, I'm in Alaska, but this video is still from Montana and I hope you still enjoy it. But all the coming videos will be about here in Alaska. Hey, beautiful friends, welcome back. Today I'm taking you along with me kind of as just a day in my life and what we're doing today is I'm gonna go get my hair done. I'm so excited about that. That usually I look forward to that. I do it like every two months or something. I go get my hair done and this will be my last time that I'm getting it done before I go to Alaska. Then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'll look for another hairdresser or if I'll try to do it at home. I don't know because um, I just really, really love my hairdresser and I've had her now for years, ever since I started doing my hair. So, and she is absolutely amazing. She is booked out like for months ahead of time. She, I don't think she's hardly taking any more new people because she's so full. She's so good at what she does, but there's other good hairdressers in the place that I go to. It's called Fusions, Fusions Hair Design here in Libby. And I've been so blessed to be able to get in with her. Her name's Zanny and it starts with an X and she's just a beautiful woman. She just does a really good job. And if you can tell my hair is turning gray in there, <laughs> it's kind of on one spot over here. On the other side, it's not as bad. That's why I often part on this side and but you know, gray isn't bad. You, you know, as you age, you just have to embrace what comes along. But I think I'll still cover it up for a while before I allow myself to go gray, just because. And it's always so fun. That is like my day where I just relax and I just let someone else do something with me. Now, I almost don't have time to do this because we're so busy getting ready to move to Alaska, but I wanted to do it one more time before we move. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my hair, except maybe just pretty much similar. I don't like to do, like, I don't like to have like a drastic change to my hair. I just, I, I always like the softer look, like the blended look, a little bit of highlights. And I know she uses a little bit more better products. I don't think they're natural but they are better than some of the products uh, hairdressers use. So I'm gonna try and get the name of what she's using so I can look for that up in Alaska. So we wanna get going soon, but another thing I'm doing today, I'm gonna go and go to Libby Sports. It's like a sports hunting store here in Libby and get a nice big gift certificate for my husband. He's turning 42. 42 <laughs> here in um, on Saturday so I'm gonna get a couple things for that and I want to go to the Christian bookstore and I want to get something like a little gift for Zanny my hairdresser for having done my hair for so many years so just a little gift before I leave okay now before we go to the hairdresser and go to town and do all that stuff I wanted to sh give you moms a few tips of what I like to do to stay beautiful. <laughs> that helps me looking beautiful in this, you know, in our busy season of mothering and taking care of the home, whatever else we do. And um, this is one thing I take. These are whitening strips. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Lumini, I don't know. And I only use them maybe once a week or something. I use one strip. It's a top and bottom. And you have put them on for like 30 minutes. And one thing I love about this is that these do not make my teeth sensitive. I used to do Crest strips and I could not handle them anymore because it made my teeth so sensitive. So I switch to this and these are about $50 in, on Amazon. But they last a long time because I just maintain my teeth, the color of my teeth by doing it about once a week. And there's like uh, 21 treatments in here. So it lasts a long time if I only do it like once a week to keep it, keep it maintained. Now if you really wanna whiten your teeth, you probably wanna use a full box like in the first 
few weeks just to you know get your teeth really whitened but the reason I'm sharing this with you too is you can do this you can put this on your teeth while you're doing your makeup wash or doing your skincare put this on and then you can take it off and brush your teeth after you're done with your skincare I just did this this morning and now another thing is is this lime magnesium deodorant stick now this is a totally natural deodorant stick and I had been looking for for deodorant that was natural for a long time there was a few that I found but I just didn't really like them I have this it's a lime magnesium deodorant stick and I absolutely love it you can get it on lemongrass spa.com and I have the link of that company down below I get all my beauty products from them because I love it and also this revitalizing <laughs> revitalizing hair mist this is a quick thing you can use if your hair is just feels frizzy and messy kind of and you can spritz this on brush it out and fix it however you want it it just gives it more of a shine and will smooth it out a little bit one more tip or a couple more tips is for you busy moms one thing if you are you know sleepless nights it helps to put on just a little bit of flawless color concealer under your eyes it brightens up the eyes underneath the eyes and makes you feel and look a little younger because sometimes you have bags and dark circles under your eyes so I often just put on a little bit of color concealer under here and they also have um, like pink brightening concealer that I want to try or a green corrector concealer but I've only used this and this is in the medium beige color and I always put it underneath my eyes here and sometimes even on the top of my eyes and it just brightens up the eye area and that makes you just look a little fresher and not as tired and then of course if you add just a little bit of blush on your cheeks it looks like you have more color in your face and it just overall gives you a brighter healthier look so those were a few tips I wanted to give you and if you want any of these products this is hibiscus blush uh, just go on the link down below and and you can look at all the products that they have on there because that is all I use. So that was just a few tips I wanted to give you. And by the way, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this denim jacket. Maybe I can get a full length picture for you, I don't know. And then here I just have this um, strap dress that my sister-in-law just recently gave me and I absolutely love it. It's ankle length, it goes all the way down and it's you know elastic at the waist. And then I just put a denim jacket over it and I got this necklace 18 years ago, almost 18 years ago on our honeymoon and I still have it. And then I'm wearing these, these high heeled uh, tan sandals that I got in Ross a long time ago actually. So I don't know where you could find them but they're called Parker and Sky. And this dress, I don't know where she got this dress but it is called the tag says Sienna Sky, Sienna Sky. So I don't know, maybe you can find the dress somewhere, but I have been talking too long. So let's get on with the day and I'll take you along with me. I'm gonna put on this hat. It has like a little pink butterfly on it. And my sister gave me this hat. Okay, let's get going. fun just taking off and having a little mom time I guess <laughs> so yeah it's fun just to take a drive into town we're about 20 minutes from town and just enjoy myself so because it's been few and far between right now it's just a lot of getting ready to move and by the way those of you who would like to watch our moving process and everything you have to go to our other channel called Montana Haven on there is more about our moving I don't do much about that on this channel at all 
it's on our other channel where it's going to be all about our move to Alaska. So it's going to be fun, lots of adventure, so you want to follow us there. So I'm going to go in there and see if I can get a nice size gift certificate for my husband. Okay, I'm back from the store. I didn't video in there, um, but I got a really nice size gift certificate for my husband. I think he'll like it. Sometimes I'll just get him an, a gift certificate instead of buying him something because he knows more what he likes, like what he wants for hunting and the outdoors. So I'm not good with that stuff. So. This time I'm just giving him a gift certificate and the children all contributed. They all gave a little bit out of their hard earned money to get him a gift certificate. So next I'm gonna go to the Christian bookstore and find a gift for my hairdresser Zanny. And then after that, it's probably almost time for my hair appointment. So we'll see. So if any of you are ever traveling through Libby and you want to buy a gift or you just want to check out some stores this is a great place to stop they just have a lot of beautiful gifts and yeah just a lot of beautiful items I often go in there for to find a gift I'm back in the van and I guys if you ever come to Libby you want to support this uh, Christian bookstore it's just lovely it has a lot of gifts and books and yeah just stuff like that so I often go in there because I like to support my local community I often go in there for to find gifts so it's right here on Main Street like Mineral Avenue I believe it's called and I found a couple books my husband has not been able to read lately just because of the busyness of life but I'm hoping that when we get to Alaska he can have some time to do a little bit more reading and I found some kind of some good books this is one my dream hunt in Alaska and then into the wilds different stories about going into the wild and I think he'll really enjoy that for his birthday and then for my hairdresser it seems like a weird gift kind of I didn't really know what to get her but I got her this tray. It's a tray and it has just such a nice saying on it and I'm gonna read it to you guys because this is what I feel about her. She's, it says, a recipe for an amazing woman. Start with faith and honesty, mix in purity, humility, add strength of character that rises above the stress of life surprises, fold in personality, toss with generosity, pour in love from a heart that's true, yield one terrific amazing you she's such a kind and genuine person so I'm gonna give that to her I think I should go look and see if I can find a bag somewhere um, but I first have to stop at the bank uh, do something at the bank and then soon after that I have to go to my appointment hi sorry about that wait what can I get for you I would like to do a withdrawal I think I'm checking your savings uh, checking. All right. So this is Fusion's hair design, and this is where I always go. I 
I'll be the one by your side Through the good and the hard times When we're laughing When we're hurting You're doing such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> driving home and I'm sorry if the camera is shaky because it's just sitting there on the dashboard um, but yeah didn't she do a fantabulous job she did a wonderful job I just I am very blessed I was very blessed having a hairdresser like her and I'm really gonna miss her but she did write stuff down she wrote everything down that she used on me today and she kind of wrote the kind and the brand that she uses so that I can take it with me to Alaska and just show um, you know my hairdresser there if I find one so that's what I'm planning on doing and thank you so much for coming along and just watching me and now I'm on my way home and I'll probably turn right around and take the two little ones to uh, back into town for dentist appointments. Wyatt is getting his teeth cleaned and I think Chloe has a little filling, like a little cavity filling that she has to fill in one of her baby teeth. So that's what I'll be doing. So I hope you're enjoying this day in the life with me. I probably won't video too much more, but yeah, I had fun with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm back home in my kitchen and Joe has actually had to do some errands in town, so he said he would just take the two little ones to town for their dentist appointments, so I did not have to turn around and go back in. If I would have known that, I would have probably stayed a little longer there in town and checked out some thrift shops, but it's probably good I didn't know that because we don't need anything and I'm trying to downsize for Alaska. But anyways, I pulled back my hair so that I can get to work. I am thinking, I'm for some reason, I'm hungry for pizza and I usually make like a sourdough crust and with pizza but I do not have my sourdough ready. It's been in the fridge for a couple days because I couldn't do anything with it. So I'm just going to make a regular yeast dough crust for the pizza and then I'm just going to put on toppings with whatever I have and often I put kind of a ranch topping on with the pizza sauce or then some kind of a alfredo sauce type thing. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll take a little bit of footage for you guys. This is not my cooking channel. If you want to see my cooking channel, it's over on Montana Haven. Here, this today is just a kind of a day in my life. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of footage of my pizza making, but then we'll probably sign off. This crust recipe was pretty good so I will write the recipe for the crust down and then you can just add whatever you want for the toppings. I ran out into my herb garden and picked some chives to put on top of my pizza. Oh, yeah. 
I have some ranch dressing mix powder that I just mixed in sour cream and cream cheese and then I even put some shredded cheese in it and put it on as a base layer and then I put on some pizza sauce and then the rest of the ingredients. So here I am clipping off these chives on the pizza that I got in my herb garden and then I have this pot of basil and I just clipped off some leaves and put it on top of the pizza. I love using as many fresh ingredients as possible. Well, the pizza turned out absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and we will see you all on another video.